You can probably see little bits of tiger rock in the trees behind me, but that's not where I'm going. No, no. We, we, we've been there already. Uh, Land of the Tiger, one take, will have been out by now. So, we're going to its neighbour, Wild Asia. Now, coming in from Land of the Tiger, you have this just sign that brings you under the end of Cobra with that massive, huge Cobra up there. It's part of the end of the ride. And this is where the main entrance to the Explorer glamping would be. See what we can see? Not much. <laughs> and obviously, how to access the site. With the exit to Lorikeet Lagoon being right next to it, the Rainbow Lorikeet Bird Walk Through, which sadly is not open today. I reckon it's probably too cold for the birds anyway. But there are signs here advertising Tiger Rock. There's the entrance to Lorikeet Lagoon, which is also right next to the Temple of Mayhem. Now, the vast majority of this area existed before between 2000 and 2009 as Beano Land. The only things that were new were here, Lorikeet Lagoon and Cobra. Temple of Mayhem was Dennis's madhouse. Monkey Slinger was uh, Billy's Wizard. These two stayed where they are. Tuck Tuck Turmoil over there in the distance was Roger the Dodger's Dodgem. And that was over here on the side of Cobra, as was Jungle Bus, which was then the Bash Street Bus. Now here is possibly my favorite elephant known to man, Banyan, who will often talk to you and will sometimes spray water with you if he's feeling a bit annoying. So, the Monkey Swinger. It's a wave swinger ride, but with a twist. This one will get you very, very wet, as you can see here. It's absolutely everywhere. But luckily, they do have drying units you to dry off that. But it's not the only water effects in the area. Oh no, if you walk too close, this little elephant here, you get wet. Very wet, as you can see from the puddle there. She's there. Tuck Tuck Turmoil is suffering from its age, no doubt. You can see the elements of Roger the Dodgers Dodge the blue and the red coming through where the very dark green paint is peeling away. Behind this fencing is the Explorer's Outpost restaurant, which doubles up the Curse of the Lost Tomb during Halloween and an ice cream hot dog stand. So as you walk back through the area, you really get a sense of the gravitas of Cobra, how big and how important it is to the area. It is a major, major, major pull factor now and it is one of the most popular rides on park. Regularly gathering queues of an hour. It is so, so well themed and it's covered with little bits of that snake theming. And again, another smoking point. There's a fountain here opposite from the Explorer's Outpost, which like I said, it's doubling up this year for the Curse of the Lost Tomb. At the moment, it's not open. It's a little bit too early, but it will be opening later, 12 p.m. There's arcade games all around here and lovely themed archways, which again, focus on the very uh, Eastern theme of the area. But surprisingly, the Sumatran Tiger Top Trump has made it in here. I'm sort of wondering why. There's a new football darts game that was added this year next to the Snakes and Ladders game, which has been there for quite a while. Wild Asia is one of the most heavily themed areas in the park, having opened back in 2010. Like I said before, replacing Dino Land, and there's always little bits of theming placed around the park. Park area, like a little tuk-tuk there. And there is the Jungle Bus. There's Wild Asian Jeeps here, this lovely mural of a peacock and another ent entrance to what's known as the Mahara's Market which was the Wild Asia area shop but now it tends to only open on the peakest of days uh, after like lunch because they can save money. And finally, you walk out of this themed exit portal which is part of a, uh, is a thing which is there's often a themed entrance somewhere than an unthemed entrance. However, in recent years, they've added, thing, they've added these gates and nitrogen. Because when you're glamping, they will open the Wild Asia area specifically for you. But one thing you may have seen before if you are a regular visitor to Chessington is the fact that the Wild Asia sign here is missing and it has been missing for about six months. 
and I'm sure you can hear the chain from here, but that is the Wild Asia One take, and I've come out of the entrance right next to Dragon's Fury.